Hello students, today's topic is uh, theoretical perspective of urban sociology and under this particular topic today we will discuss the contribution which has been made by Robert Park on city ecology. Okay. You know uh, during 1920s the Robert E. Park and Ernest Burgess develop a distinctive program of urban research which is quite fascinating and they have been closely associated with Department of Sociology, University of Chicago. In the numerous research project they focused on the city of Chicago, how it has been developed and try to find out a specific model. And Park and Burgess elaborated a uh, theory of urban ecology which proposed that the cities were environment like those found in nature, governed by many of the same forces as Darwin uh, evolutionary theory quite similar with the development of the urban ecology and that affected the natural ecosystems. The most important of these forces was competition. And he, they said that competition for land and resources ultimately lead to the, the spatial differentiation of urban space into zones with more desirable areas commanding higher rents. As they become more prosperous, people and business move outward from the city center in the process. And Park and Burgess called this process is succession. The term borrowed from the plant ecology. Their model known as concentric zone theory which first published in the book the name of the book I just quoting the city which is published 1925 and in that book they predicted that cities would take the form of five concentric rings with areas of social and physical deterioration concentrated near the city center and more prosperous areas located near the city's edge. The pattern of tax delinquency in Chicago in the period of this study appears to have been related to the pattern of the city's ecological development. As the city expanded outward, the encroachment of the industry in the areas adjacent to the central business district violated this section. The original resident drifted outward and the inner neighborhoods were occupied successively by the people with their lower incomes, therefore unable to find dwellings elsewhere and never fully utilized for industrial purposes and constantly deteriorating as residential areas. These sections became characterized by physical deterioration and social disorganization as well as by tax delinquency.